So right now I'm part of the way through this and I'm going to have to do it in stages, which is really going to be an irritating. So using iPhones for recording this sort of stuff, pain in the ass. But in the meantime, uh, I wanted to put this at the beginning. This is very dangerous. I'm working with mains voltage, huzzah. Uh, I'm going to be rewiring this. I'm going to have somewhat exposed mains AC through this thing, but it's shielded for the most part, but still dangerous. I mean, it's not, I don't recommend doing this yourself, but as a, uh, well, shit, what am I supposed to do? Uh, if Nintendo made these to be reassembled, then yeah, you know, that would be great, but it causes all sorts of other legal ramifications if. I mean, if they did, but the 3DS one was fine. You could take that apart, put it back together without an issue. This one, however, be nice if they'd done the same thing with the, the uh, 3DS, but obviously not. Anyway, I'm going to get back to editing this and then continue on with it. So, bizarre. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be using power tools. If that's not concerning to you, I don't know what is. But with that said, I'm going to try to tackle, as you can probably tell in the description, the uh, switch. Now, the thing is that I've already opened this, so there. This is a Jiffy box. I picked this up from a local electronic supplier, which I somewhat dislike. But trick is to get that in there I'm going to be using this I'm going to get that in properly and I totally forgot the other thing so I'm gonna to have to pause it okay I'm back so I started this completely unprepared so I've got a pair of these which are fly strippers good ones and I have these and I believe these came out of television sets so effectively, uh, instead of putting something like a figure eight port on here, I'm just going to be wiring up directly. Now another thing I should be doing is also putting on a switch and a fuse, but <laughs> uh, no, I just sort of want to wing it. So what does that mean? Well, to get this in here, I was thinking, oh, I had a smaller one, try to jam it in there, it was just big enough, but the lid wouldn't close. So I want to be able to fully encase it like that. That's important. Now, the second thing is, it's probably going to sit like this. I also need to put this in here. And I need to have this to be able to sit in there and like so. Okay, but the major issue I'm going to have is that is really short. That is extraordinarily short. So I freaked out, looked on eBay thinking, mm, I'm going to have to go buy some stuff. It's like, no, turns out I don't because I've got these posts. Now the curious question I have is, are these big enough or do I need to use these? So I'm going to put in four. Three and four. Now I did work out part of this before doing the video, but I wanted to actually leave something for the video itself. So it's not how it's actually going to go, but yeah, it still closes nicely. And the second question is if this is up here. Oh yeah, that leaves me feeling comfortable. Okay, so I don't want to put any tension on this and while it might be a smart idea to drill it here, I'd much rather have it on this side. So let's get to some drilling. And before I do that, I'm going to put on some glasses.
Now you'll see what those washers are for later on, the little clear white plastic bits. I was hoping to have some uh, black ones, but turns out I didn't, so it ain't going to match up with all the colouring. Great. So this first hole, I'm going to try to do it over here. Now, so where's the top half? Alright, now I've had this thing for years, I think since I've been a kid, so I can't exactly tell you where I got it from, but it's unmarked and I'm not really too sure of its quality. Anyway, so... See, I'm trying to get it in the center. Hopefully I have. Now that post is there, so say maybe about here. All right, I've got a starting point. Now the question is, what drill bit do I need? So this is something that I didn't actually open up on the channel before, but uh, I bought myself a metric drill bit set. Oops. That's just to get it out. Those are not going to be good enough. But you know, they pop off easily. So what drill bit do I need from the metric set? Maybe a six. Six is going to be a little small, but it's great for a start. Put that back on the floor. So, needless to say, this video is going to contain a bunch of dangerous things in it. Oops. So, I want that to go forward. Now, I'm going to want this. Okay, let's try to move this over so you can see it. There we go. Now, this bit of wood isn't just here for show. It's going to help by giving something to press up against. And drill into so I don't just puncture right through and burst everything out like a chest burst during that alien flick.
There we go. Dangerous and stupid. So. That hole should work, but it is not big enough. I'm going to say seven's not big enough neither. And I'm going to say 7.5. So I'm putting 6.5 back. No, sorry, 6. And I'll be putting 7 in here. Wrong way. Wrong way. Eh. Not a good idea to do that. blunt this thing before I even get a chance to use it properly. Yep, I think I have. Alright, let's take that off. Let's make this safe. And let's move this back here. Ooh, that is still not big enough. Alright, I'll have to pause it again. Okay, so let's see what I'm up to this time. I've just taken these pair of cutters that sort of throw away and chomped into them. Alright, so point of interest, that's a little low. But that should do what I want. Now for the second cut. I should probably not have put that down.
This is going to be for these. So, I'll take this one, throw it aside, bring this one up here. Yeah, this, this is the one I'm going to be putting in this box. Box or whatever you want to call it. Now, that doesn't have to go down so far. So, just put of interest with the uh, cable here. Well, that is a little too far down. Yeah, that is a little bit of a failure. Ish. That's still going to hold in nice and tight. Oh, bugger. So, I'm going to drill this one for a hole now. And using this again. Too far. Alright. That should do it. Now I can afford to try to center this one as much as possible. Send a punch of that. Bring you back over. Should bring this over. That's better. Alright, so. I should have used a straight bit of wood, but oh well. Now, my theory is that's going to be too big. So I'll drill the pilot hole at a four. Now, what size drill bit do I need for this? You're worth a try. So this larger one is 8.5 on the metric scale. That took a nice giant ass chunk out of that, didn't it? <laughs> Oof. Man, these cutters are badass. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. 
wrong way. Widen it. Keep that out of the way. Don't want to damage it. Ooh, that fits. Perfectly. <laughs> Sweet. So, now comes the fun part. So, the issue I'm having with this. Yeah, I'm going to be vacuuming up after this. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose that. Okay. So, that's like a better frame. this to become blunt. Now the issue is I need some standoffs for the power supply. So those four are going to have to do. Now with the power supply itself, I need to try to position two here, the back. So I need two that are going to hold this up, and then I want two on the outside, so I can try to hold it together. Plus I also need one in the center here. So with that said, uh, let's try the stand first. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Perhaps a little too low, but I am happy with it. What happens if it goes upside down? Ooh, upside down might work a little better. Yeah. To prevent that from causing any more problems, unplug it. So where can I put two of these? Honestly, it doesn't seem to matter. That's good. So 
for these holes, which really should go on this, but they're not. Is it an M3? So these are the screws. Ooh, that was nasty. So these are the screws I'm going to be using. Yep, that's big enough. So I need to drill two holes. About there. going to be fun. Actually this way has got more light. And no one can see what I'm doing. So that'll solve solve that in a minute. So bring this back over here. Bring this further down here. Like that. A little further out. One mounting hole. And that's two mounting holes. This has got me set off. Whew. Yeah, I haven't done this before now, not just because I haven't had like the parts, it's just been, oh God, how do I do this? Stress has just really taken off when I do anything like this, it is insane. should be enough. Hmm. All right, so there's one. The whole point for me using nylon is so that there's no um, 
shorts that should happen. Hence the plastic screws as well. That looks like it has done it. block of wood to prop that up. I think I'm running out of time for my recording. No, nope, that's all right. So if I sit that up like that, and use these two to hold it in instead. Can create that little bump. Perfect. So if I put this back in. It's terrible today. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause this for a bit and do some cleaning. Okay, now I can get back to it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to record for as long this time because I kind of ran out of video. <laughs> oh, I also found a screwdriver that fits these. So anyone's wondering, uh, probably too late to say this, but these are three M3 size screws. Now I went through, checked out my videos online and worked out that black is live and red is neutral, which is the other way than I thought it would be. Because red's usually hot and yeah. 
I should probably double check that. Anyway. My last hole that I'm going to initialize in will be about here. So what I will do is I'll double check that this will fit. Yes. Not enough. All right, you're going to be holding it in place. Okay, so I need to draw, drill those two holes out. What about here? drill three mil holes in those places. Okay, so bring this back up here again. Put it in that really awkward position. <laughs> They're always falling off, aren't they? It's a bit of a pain. So, I'll just grab a wet wipe. Knock you out. so it's safe. So you should go down in there and hopefully fit like a glove. Not directly in the center but you can move with that. Ooh. 
All right, so hopefully you'll hold steadfast. And now these two posts need to go in with some very low-lying screws. Two. Alright, so they are now in. Four of these washers. If I need these glasses for now, I can go back where they belong because hopefully I won't be doing any more drilling for a while. So, first question to ask right now is, are those two going to fit in there? Possibly. So what I'm trying to do is to get one washer on top and one on the bottom.
Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's not the best, but it's not the final. I still have a bit more to do with this. So that's just to help stabilize it for now. Okay. So I'm gonna to try to plug this in. So that hole is just a little too deep. So if I rotate it, now how's that gonna sit in? It's not. So what about an angle? Same sort of thing. It's clear though, so. All right, I'm not exactly happy with that exposed bit there because particles and stuff can get inside, so. I'll probably have to redo this box, but eh. so that is not going to reach over there. So I need to move it, I'd say to about here. Now, I wanted to do this without having to do any soldering, so that's why I'm going to this sort of length. Ah, beer beat. All right. So that was quick. Um, All 
All right. Uh, Alright, so these are some old tweezers I've had floating around for a very long time. One. Two. Alright, let's hope that works. Yeah, I was afraid of that popping out. It's not down hard enough neither. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a bit better. Not 100% happy with this, but I'll be a crybaby. Okay, that's in place. Whew. Okay, let's get this off. Actually, I might cut that off as well.
Okay. Um, I'm getting close to when I have to stop this again, which is a real shame, but... The mains goes in like that. Stops it. Ay. So, had a bit of a freak out. Turns out it wasn't as serious as I thought it was. Whew. Um, all right. So, for now, I am not 100% happy with this. I probably resolder these wires and like put them in. Okay, so there's that. Looks like I could actually do that. But here's a question. Why would the live be black? Uh, okay. So on this I want to find the live pin, and I found this, which is what was missing. My multimeter. The one I freaked out, panicked, bought, and don't really regret getting. No, no, it's all there. Okay, so. One, two, put this on to its ohms. So switch it back to ohms. Yep, I'm happy. Don't have to be accurate. So let's go live. Live is brown. And what about neutral? Good. Now. Soon. So live is B Brown Neutral. Neutral is blue. E L U E. Oh. <laughs> I... So brown to black and vice versa. So I don't need that screwdriver, I need this one. So brown,
All right, I'm gonna have to stop that again. And I got some tweezers. Stuff that I can't get it in. That might be why. So, take my tweezers. Pull this one out. Right now I'm shaking. Okay, so that's back in. Okay, those are in. Careful. Okay. In. Alright, that's in. Now I can test this again. So, what should I have? So, br uh, the black wire should be live, and the brown wire. Red should be neutral. Okay.
All right. All right. Moment of truth. So that's about as clean as it's going to be on the inside. Just in the event that there's some kind of bang, I'm going to screw this in. This should not be like this. Hey, little knobs that were supposed to come with us are missing. Bloody factory. Okay, all done. All done for now. So I'm going to plug that in there and turn it on. Hey, no boom! No, boom. Um, okay. So my controller is partially charged. Just turn it off. Right, so did. Hey, it's charging. Okay. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Woo. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I buggered up this case to no end. I'm going to have to buy another one because I've got like two of these um, switch boxes that I need to, you know, yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Ah. Uh, mm. It's hard to bring up words, but um, honestly, this wasn't... The theory of this wasn't bad. It's just actually doing it that I always freak out about. I don't know why, but I do. So, I finally did it. It's done. It's done, it's working, it's a very, very bad hack job. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm just gonna let this thing fully charge and then um, I, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yibbity yibbity. Okay, so you think you do everything right and Bang! Turns out you didn't. So, this will hopefully be the last video on this. Um, I'm going to do the final reassembly. I went to the shop, bought myself another one of these boxes since I had two originally. Now I've had three, so yay. Uh, I lowered these holes a little bit, these ones in the middle, just to hopefully get like a better grip on there. So hopefully I didn't completely bugger that one up. <laughs> if I did, whoops. Now. I also have that other one here. So I'm going to cut this one open and we're going to take a look inside. 
for the most part just to confirm the uh, layout. Now, if you're noticing that I'm not wearing the same shirt, that's because I went out in the rain, I got soaked, and I thought, stuff wearing the same clothes, because I don't want to cause problems with what I'm working with. So I just took them off. I'm doing laundry tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. So this should be the first one that I pulled apart haphazardly and went to town on. Yeah, as you can see, it's the one with the uh, cuts. So, red, black. Good. At least I didn't screw that up. So, can I get a good shot in here of this? Yep. Just pull that off. Now, should be the same with this one. So what I'll do is I'll wire it up now, just to save myself the headache later on. There's one. So I don't know how I'm going to actually upload this. If I can upload it all as one video, you know, great. Before I was just really wigging out. I had no idea. Ugh. You're doing this alone and having no clue is really not healthy for me. And this video has taken me the better part of a day to do. So that's been interesting. So I'll pop you in there and you in there. I will repeat myself on this. Don't do it. It just... Hey yourself killed. Now, yeah, I'll say this. This thing was definitely worth buying. It really was. <laughs> Especially here, it just it just ran through everything. Okay, so you're neutral, you're live. So brown goes to black. No, 
this one. Brown to black. And then blue to red. How much am I in camera? Oh, I'm still in camera. That's good. What the hell's that? Stick that all the way in. Okay, so now I really should have a pat tester, but God, those things are expensive as hell. I mean, <laughs> I love to own one. I'd love to do the course, but it's like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars if you buy like decent equipment up front and also do the course. So for me, yeah, I could have bought all this stuff or I could have done that course. Neutral. Neutral is blue. Neutral is red. So here should link up with red and shouldn't link up here. Active should not be here, but it should be here. All right. Okay, I checked twice. Really should do it a third time. But I can't. Honestly, my breathing would be better if I had the window open. Unfortunately, I've got a highway outside of my place and that makes a hell of a lot of noise and more noise when it's raining which it currently is or at least was I can't tell it's my windows wet so I'm just gonna say it's raining hey all right now for this assembly part um, So these two go here. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, the lighting's really gotten terrible because it's dark outside now, so all I've got is my natural light, which is really not much. That's embarrassing. Hey. Going back to that stupid shop again, just... but unfortunately I had to, didn't I? I wanted to get this done now. Uh -oh. oh, that is not good.
that went in a lot easier. Probably because of that screw that's in there. Okay, those two are in. Now, what should happen is you sit on there comfortably. You sit like that comfortably. Oh, that's a much better fit. Now, those two posts should go in just fine. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. I did that hole in the wrong place. Yeah, I did them both exactly this. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, that hole is in the wrong place. So the only fix for me to do, without re-drilling the damn holes for going out and buying a new one, is to put a screw in there. Because I'm not spending $10 again Buy these, they're like four ninety five each. Great little cover up. Wait a minute, where are my tweezers? I'll put them back in here. Yep. Good, now I've got those on hand. All right, so I have to re-drill that hole. There we go. So I'll be using that a little later. But for now, let's try to get this in.
should have realized because the way I did this is I pushed them together and then I marked them like pushed them together like this so it would have been a mirror image not a well there's a hardy way how to fail isn't it about 20 minutes on this video already. Well, at least raw recording. Too low. Yep. So hopefully that won't break out. So I slam that in like that. Ooh, that's a lot more loose in there. That's good. That's very good. I'm pulling on it now. Come on, get in there. Nope. Wrong hole. Wrong hole again. Right hole. Down. There we go. So put that in like that. too tight with that. Alright, so kind of wish there was more cable here to play with, but oh well. So I like how loose that one is. The ground, not so much. Um, 
The active, not so much. That's probably putting too much stress on it. guessing that's going to be too much stress on that uh, wire there. I'm impressed with how... I don't think I'll have to glue that down. The other one's going to be like that. That should hold. Yeah. So the other thing is that I opened up the other two. They don't have the little knobs that go on these. So that's got me a little pissed. So that's about as far as it's going to go in. So mechanically, I'm kind of worried that the live is going to break. That's my concern. That's too much stress on it. If any proper people do actually respond, I may I may have to fix these later on. If it does tear it out, but at least it shouldn't be too much of a difficult fix. All right, so that's on. Now for the bottom. It's too close to the edge. Now I could have bought uh, feet that were a little bit cheaper and a little bit smaller, but honestly, they were, they would have been a lot better actually. <laughs> they would have fit both proper too, but oh well. So there are those feet. And that should stop it from flailing about. So, Try this one out. Plug it in, turn it on, wait for a bang. No bang. Okay. Wait for that to stop. Turn it on. Oh, that one's charging it. So, that's good. All right. You know, I think I will revisit these later on. Yeah, that's good. So that's one switch controller. Oh, sorry, switch AC adapter. Now, Actually, you know what, I'm going to stop it here, I'm going to deal with this uh, one and then I'm going to come back and finish this off. Okay, so I just checked my phone, 
I've still got plenty of storage space for this, so I'm just going to continue on and try to get this one done. I will say this, uh, blocking up one of these holes at the bottom, a lot easier than doing it one of the chips that you make off on the sides. I mean, ouch if you do that. I know I did a few times. Oof. Just drives me nuts, make these look like they're unusable then. Okay, so I've got those posts in. Okay, so before I do that, what I'll do is I'll stick this down stick this in here and say, you know what, that has me feeling a lot better there. So will this punch fit all the way through? No. There we go. How are we looking? Perfect. Probably shouldn't be holding it from there. So, I'm not really worried about it being sh shaken loose because this is so high. So any sort of vibrations, it shouldn't bash around too much. That's what I'm hoping. I'm not also intending. I'm, I'm not intending to move these around all that much neither. So once they're sat in place, they'll sat in place. The other thing is that because there's much less of a footprint with the uh, the plug. I'll try to talk about it later. <sighs> Hopefully, I won't have to move stuff around too much. So what I'm trying to do here is use the washers to help keep the PCB in place. That's the whole point of it. 
and I'm trying to hold on to the heat sink because that should have the most mechanical strength. Should. I'm not saying it does, it should. That's my expectation. Although my expectations usually get held quite short because of, well, things. The other thing is, because this is all nylon, or at least a form of polymer or plastic or whatever you want to call it, they should not cause a short. And that's the one thing I'm worried about. Because there's one thing if this falls apart, it's not difficult to put back together. But if the whole, if a short occurs and that requires a fix, that's when I'm going to freak out. Although, no more warranty on this from Nintendo, so... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's good. That's fine. That's fixable. Now, you can see here how it's curved. I'm much more happy with that. See, to me doesn't look like it's going to pull out. like I meant that to go in like that. It's clearly not deep enough. How about over here? No, nope, that looks just fine. Maybe a little taller than it should be, but... Just a few nibbles. So that is still a little taller than it needs to be. much better. There we go. Don't want to crush that.
that's about as far as it's going to go down. These self tappers, they suck. I mean, seriously. Uh, 3D printing, um, I still feel a bit strange to it, but I suppose getting my own one once I've got the organization set up. I mean, like, not. What I mean is once I can organize all my stuff properly. I mean, that drill press and all those other stuff I got is solely so I can build shelving. Yeah, I've heard people say just buy it, but I can't find anything that does exactly what I want. So this is going to be a little tight because that's still not a hundred percent. So there's a little bump there. That's fine at that end. Okay, plug in. Does it blow up? No. It's active, but there's no way to tell if that is. So turn it off. Turn it on. Okay, that works. Actually, now I think about it, instead of putting the switch on the side, putting it on the top might be a better idea. Huh. I'll have to see if the place I order parts from will uh, they sell ones that glow. But I don't have any to add any additional wiring. Okay. Let's get this cleaned up. So, just on that, I did have something else to use, but I don't think I'm going to need it now. Only because of the positioning of those posts and how it was holding the PCB in. So, with these, Throwing them about like they're rubbish is really not going to help. But treat them with a bit of yeah. See, so there's really not that sort of much movement with them. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish this one off. so nervous about doing this freaked me out to no end needless to say they could still just blow up at any point but yeah that um that's me feeling a lot better now and saving these was a good idea but like i said at the beginning of this the little intro thing um this is dangerous you shouldn't just go pump these open and you know, go all willy-nilly Bad things can happen. So, I am taking a risk by using these, but I choose to do that. Don't, don't use this and go, oh, everything's okay, blah, no, it's not okay. Because, this one, this one could stop working because the AC side pops out. This one, probably not. Gets knocked around too much, the PCB could start flattening around. 
that could end badly. Um, there's a lot of things. But as it is, I'm not afraid of the PCB just popping out because it's close to the top, at least where that heatsink is, the capacitor, so it should stop it from bouncing around. And it's really just jammed in there, and I'm not... I've got this stuff, which is supposed to be used to help keep things from staying still, and I've thought about using that, but I can't see any particular way of actually popping it in there, which has me a bit irritated, so there's that. Now, I'll take these aside, because I've got to use them soon, possibly. So that, it worked out. I mean, if I hadn't screwed up the holes on the sides, I would have been happy with just continue to keep using it. But unfortunately, I uh, probably bunged it up. So I'll keep the case as it is, but it's just not gonna be a, uh, hmm. Ooh, what else? So for a fuse, for these, according to this, it draws up to one amp. So installing a fuse, you'd want to put in a one amp fuse. If. I'm not saying, anyway, to do this, but if you were, one amp fuse, light switch, you should be good. But like I said, don't do it. Now this little puppy is something I purchased off eBay some time ago now. And I'm kind of curious as to why it won't do that prang sound anymore. Yeah. I think this was like an automatic hole puncher or something. There it goes. Still not doing what I think it should be. Maybe it's that way. There it goes. See, I believe this is for metal work, but the plastic, it did a Excellent job getting it a uh, hole started. These, oh, I forget where I got these from. What's that symbol? These I may have picked up from a share house that I was living at. This was, oi, having this was nice. <laughs> Proper wire strippers, definitely. If you're working with uh, AC a lot or you're gonna be cutting wires and you wanna be careful. If you, if you nick like uh, one or two of those little strands, you can cause issues in the cabling and while it may not cause a problem later on, it could. So definitely having a good pair of wire cutters is definitely a this was definitely something I needed. <laughs> As for drawing out the diagram, honestly, I'm not going to cover this because it'll give you information that I really shouldn't give you. It just makes things more dangerous. So, But I will say this, if you're working on something significant, do a diagram. The amount of times I've sat down started something without doing something like this, buggered it up a lot. So I just, yeah. Now, what I think I'll do, stick you in here as well. Stick you in here for now. Stick those in here. Yeah. 
All right. Well, with that done, let's say this video is finished. I am somewhat satisfied with the outcome. Now it's only to wait and see whether or not it actually, oh, there they are. <laughs> You never know, I may come across a use for this with those two holes in it. <sighs> with that, this video is finally over. Yibbidi yibbidi.